Hello there. So, a lot of people have pointed to this new article that's been posted about how VeggieTales has supposedly ditched the redesigns and that Phil Fisher has come back. And it's true. If Phil Fisher is starting to write the episodes again, they might be going from Netflix back to the regular episodes. And yes, the redesigns, as evidenced from their social media, are gone. So that means that we're not going to see those scary, evil pictures anymore, and we're going to be seeing the regular ones again. And Phil Fisher's back at the writing, so? Does this mean VeggieTales is back? No, of course not. Phil Fisher and the redesigns are just two pieces of it. The big problem is still there. The fact that they're owned by not just three companies, but three extremely secular ones. Ever since they've gotten this the strong grip of the second one. Classic media did restrict them a little bit. I mean, we did get things like Autotainment or Duke and the Great Pie War that were supposed to be really good, but had executives breathe down their neck. And then, of course, Wizard of Oz, which is, you know, some good, some bad, just had a lot of interference with it. It was just, ugh. But that's a topic for another day. Once the second one got a hold of it, that's where things got bad. And then, of course, there's DreamWorks. And there, oh, it was, of course, DreamWorks is the second one. I'm talking about, uh, crap, Universal. Because DreamWorks, you know, once the minute they took over, it became Pistachio. And we all know how that turned out, oh boy. But Pistachio, and then onwards, you can tell things are different. That's how it was before. Now, I know the last one Phil wrote was Big River Rescue, which was right before Pistachio. Technically, it was right before St. Nicholas, but sometimes the Christmas ones don't count. But, yeah, Phil Vischer is good at the writing, but the thing is... He gets restricted a lot, and so does Mike. Mike writes a lot of the stuff too, but he also gets restricted. Both of them are very, very talented. However, no talented writer can escape network brass and meddling. Look at John Chris Felusi with Ren and Stimpy. We all know what happened with him. I mean, yeah, he did go too far sometimes, but the network just kept breathing out his throat. The real Ghostbusters, as although I've never seen the movie, I've seen the show. And the first season's good, the second one is awful because the network, guess what, it interfered. This is what's going to happen again, just because they're coming off of Netflix and going right back to the old stuff, supposedly. We don't know. They haven't outright said this, but this is just this is just conjecture right now. And it's safe to assume this because of the evidence we've gotten. But just because this is happening doesn't mean it's going to be good. Quite the contrary, I'm not, I'm not optimistic at all. Because what makes you think that they're going to go from VeggieTales in the house, in the city, in the sewer, whatever you got, and they go immediately back to the classics? That can't happen. VeggieTales in the House was both a critical and financial failure, but if there's one thing that Big Idea has not been able to do since 2008 is learn from their mistakes. Episodes like Penniless Princess, uh, The Princess and the Pop Star, all the princess ones, and Celery Night Fever were panned by critics and sold terribly. So what do they do? They keep doing more and more and more and more. Personally, I just think that having the redesigns gone is a step in the right direction. Phil Vischer on board is like Steven Hillenberg with Spongebob. It could go either way. The thing is, Phil Vischer alone cannot save it. Like I said, he's not the guy in charge anymore. Just because they're bringing him back for writing doesn't mean he's going to be doing everything again. Because that's never going to happen. We've already learned that the hard way, unfortunately. So yeah, that's why we still need our show coming out. We're not done. And I'm not saying this just to make our show stay good. And stay relevant. And make sure you guys still hope for it. So don't worry, we're blowing them out of the water, hopefully, someday. It's gonna be weird. We grew up watching VeggieTales, and now we're gonna compete with them, it looks like. But yeah, they used to be over, but now they're back. A couple good things, but it's not gonna fix anything. Because I'm seeing all the fans light up that this is gonna be great, this is gonna be huge, it's gonna be this new saving grace. It's not. It's not. It's just not. Look at the facts, and look at the evidence, and the history. All of which proves that this will not fix anything. It'll make it slightly better, not all the way. The VeggieTales we had from back 1993 to say, I'd say 2006, that's gone. That's gone forever. We're in a new era. Because remember, the corporate people still think that it's just for little, 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 little kids. So, what's going to change that mentality? Phil Vischer's not going to change anything. They don't like him. They made that very clear. That's why they chased him off to Jellyfish Labs. Granted, he went there of his own volition at first. But, when he tried to come back, they chased him away. He's said this many times. That's why we need to be careful with these people. 
That's why you don't have a Christian company be run by an extremely secular one. It's just so, goes to show you that if you ever have Christian intellectual property, you need to protect it. So folks, what do you guys think? Let me know. I'm excited to hear it. Good night, everybody.